Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here. Um, as you can see, we are doing an install in VirtualBox of uh, Dev1. And I wanted to take a look at this. Uh, I've never really understood what all the fuss over System D was about. Um, but I thought, what the heck? Um, I'll install Dev1. We'll take a look at it, um, see how it compares with my actual Debian KDE. And, uh, you know, we're, we'll let this install. It's still got a while to go. But uh, we can go ahead and uh, let's go over to their, their website here. And uh, you can see, uh, pretty interesting. They have different mirrors. You can get to torrents. Um, they are on uh, 2.1 for their stable release. And uh, I downloaded the... Uh, ASCII, which I guess that's the ASCII files, um, if I remember uh, from back in my tech days. But uh, I, I downloaded the uh, ASCII files. I had to do that to get KDE. Um, what I had done was uh, download the, the Jesse packages, and then you got your installer ISOs, and you do the net install. But even this, it wasn't giving me KDE. I, I couldn't find KDE on there. So uh, I ended up having to go ahead and do the uh, Dev1 ASCII. And then you go to the installer ISO and do the net install with the Dev1 ASCII 2.1. And then you get your KDE. So yeah, it took a, took a couple of hoops to jump through. Um, you can see it. It's a, a pretty good size file. They have live desktops embedded. They got uh, net installers and installer ISOs, minimum, virtual. Um, I mean, it is, it is really huge. If we look at properties here, you will see uh, 21.5 gig. So it's a monster file, 21.5 gig. And it took probably three hours uh, with my internet to download that. But now that it's downloaded, I'm actually in, in VirtualBox, I'm doing the install. Uh, so once I get this installed, we're gonna come back. We're gonna boot into it. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna check system resources. Just kind of get an idea of what kind of resources it's using. Um, then we'll boot out of VirtualBox and reboot my uh, KDE in Debian and check system resources. And let's just see if uh, Dev1 running a, a different init system is going to be lighter than uh, Debian running the uh, system D init system. So we will be back in a little bit. Um, it, it won't seem like long to y'all, but for me, I'm going to have to to pause the video and when all this is installed and everything we will be back so we'll talk to you in a minute all right we're back it is installed and uh, we're gonna go ahead and right off the bat we're gonna take a look at system resources um, I did configure this kinda like I run my uh, Debian and we're gonna go ahead and pull case sysguard up we're going to see here what we got. System load. And I am going to go ahead. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Because what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and take a screenshot. Let me add that to favorites just to make it easy. We're going to take a screenshot of this. So we can take a look at it and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up, well, wrong menu, <laughs> got confused with my menus. We're going to pull up, um, we're going to pull up HTOP, that's the one I wanted, HTOP, let me see, make the fonts a little bigger. And we're going to take a screenshot of that. Um, I still, I need to set spectacle up. Let me see. No. Yeah, 
rectangular region. Take a screenshot. Get that out of my way. Well, this is not working right. Virtual box. I guess this is a virtual box issue here. Let me try that again. There, now it's out of the way. Um, the reason I'm doing this by taking a screenshot is because when you open your uh, screenshot program, it's going to use some memory. It, it's going to going to eat up a little memory. Um, and just by pulling this up and looking versus the screenshots from from my uh, actual Debian KDE, it, it could kind of skew the results. So uh, this way we can go ahead and let me find that. I think it put it in pictures. There's one. Let's move it to the desktop if it'll let me. It's not going to let me. Um, I guess I need to set some things up here. Yeah, I guess I need to set some things up. Let me see what we got we can open it with. Yeah, Gwen views all we got. I need to install uh, Shotwell or Fay so we can actually open this up. But this this will be close enough. I can go ahead. Let me pull this open, make it bigger, so we can see what we're doing here. Up, oh, don't want to move everything. Just want to move this. And now I'm going to open uh, this with Faye. We're going to set these side by side, kind of. And on the left, we have uh, Dev1, 642 meg. On the right, we have Debian, 808 meg. So it does look like the uh, init system that we are running in Dev1 is going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit easier on resources. Of course, uh, this is kind of this is something that someone else touched on. Uh, they do only give you one wallpaper, so big choice. So, I mean, if you need wallpaper, you're going to have to go in here and, and uh, you know, get new. Let that go ahead and open up. Let's see what we can find here as far as newest. Because I'm not crazy about a lot of these wallpapers. They're just too, I don't know. I, I like, I like something more like that. Here's a nice one. Let's install this one. I like more of a nature theme or, you know, something, something kind of cool. There we go. That looks better. So uh, here we are. That, that don't look too bad. But we can go ahead and look and uh, see all apps out of the box. Um, they do have a, a few different things in here. I'm not sure what that is. Let's Bastard Tetris. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting game. Never heard of that one before. Um... We do have uh, Discover, and we got Dolphin. They have Dragon Player. We have our Firefox ESR. We got the GIMP. We got Gwenview. Of course, there's uh, HTOP. We have it. Looks like there's a few games in here, too. Um, Image Magic is in here. Here's our Info Center. We can pull it open. Let's see what it says here. KDE Plasma's version 5.8.6. KDE Framework 5.28.0. And uh, Qt version is going to be 5.7.1. Kernel, we're running 4.9.0-12. So it is a bit older kernel. Um, if we go here to my actual desktop 
And let's go down to System Resources, which I got a lot of extra stuff installed here too. Um, let's see. I don't think they even have System Resources on here. I am not seeing system resources here. Hmm. That is interesting. I don't see system resources. What was that listed as? Yeah, okay, it was called Info Center. Info Center. So let me see if we have Info Center. There's Info Center. Here is our actual Debian install. Um, you can see we're running Plasma version 5.14.5, quite a bit newer. KDE frame, framework is 5.54.0. Cube version 5.11.3. And our kernel is 4.19.0 8. So they are running everything quite a bit newer, although. Right here, um, we are actually still in Jesse, technically. We've, we're still in, uh, in a Debian, if you will, Debian 9, which DevOn is, is Debian 9. It's, it's not moved into 10. Um, so that's why everything's going to be a bit older. Not that that's a bad thing, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So uh, if you're going to run this, you will be getting some older stuff, older packages. So let's go ahead. Let's look at, uh, continue our little tour. Jovi's in there. Juke's in there. Uh, your basic uh, console, Conqueror, all your Ks. KSysGuard. K3B, which is not too bad. KCalc. We do have a complete LibreOffice suite, which is good. Mutt is in there. Ocular is in here. Here's your print settings. Of course, like I said, we do have Spectacle, which I use to uh, get my screenshot. Here's our system settings. And let's just click on games. You can see quite a bit of games in here. I mean, not overloaded with them, but yeah, there, there's a, a few games actually that you get which is kind of neat. Uh, on my system here, we don't even have a, a setting here for games. I don't think there were any games installed on Debian out of the box. Uh, Dev1, they give you a few games out of the box, so that's, that's kind of neat. So uh, if you're looking for something Debian-based, which is going to be stable, that is not going to be using System D, and they did give me two init systems, uh, to choose from. I went with the uh, sys in it. Uh, this may be a good choice. So you, you may want to go ahead and take a look at this. So uh, yeah, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Y'all have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.